Why, please? Uh, nose hairs? How are we doing on nose hairs? You're going to need this for the shoot. You're a doctor now. Okay. Quiet on the side. Okay, speed. Lose it overnight. Scene two, take four. Okay, one hand, action. We are so excited about our new scientific breakthrough. We know losing weight is important to you, so we've created Lose It Overnight, a product that's all natural, totally safe, and 100% effective. Is that right? God. Natural? Are you kidding me? Our products are laced with stuff we don't even put on the labels. And safe? Well, I guess it depends what you consider safe. A chance of increased blood pressure, heart attack, or stroke. Uh, but it sounds good. I mean, we're, we're trying to move product. All right, just go with it. Let's go, guys. We're 25. Lose it before your eyes. Scene four, take two. Also, our newly formulated Lose It Before Your Eyes product just zaps the fat from those unsightly problem areas upon injection. It is now available at spas and clinics. People really do this? Yeah, but it comes at a price. We get two grand. And they could get permanent scarring, infection, painful swelling. Ugh. What? I'm walking. Give me two. Lose It Overnight, scene seven, take three. Action. Here at our state-of-the-art lab, we work day and night to make sure that we always make the right amount of money. <laughs> job, job, job. Right All right, amount of money. Yeah. Don't fall for a fraud. Promises for extreme weight loss can cloud your best judgment. At best, you might only lose your money. At worst, these products could seriously harm you. It's your health. Protect it. As a consumer, you are in the best position to protect yourself from fraudulent weight loss products. Just because a product is available in stores, offered by clinics, or is expensive, does not mean it will be safe or effective. So be careful when it comes to weight loss products. Why? Well, dietary supplements in general are not FDA approved or evaluated by the FDA before they reach market, and currently, there is no injectable product approved by the FDA to dissolve fat. We're not rolling right now, are we? Because if any lawyers see this, we are in big trouble. <laughs> Don't let fraud make you a victim. You could lose so much more than weight. Learn more at FDA.gov slash weight loss fraud. This consumer update is brought to you by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. Health fraud costs consumers billions of dollars each year, and worse, can lead to ineffective or delayed treatment and serious or even fatal injuries. Don't be a victim. Learn to recognize the most common types of health fraud. One of the most pervasive is unproven treatment or cures for cancer. FDA has alerted consumers to be wary of the many bogus products marketed online for cancer. The products include tablets, teas, tonics, salves, and medical devices sold under more than 180 brand names. In addition, many products for weight loss are marketed with false claims. Some of these products contain potentially dangerous prescription drug ingredients that are not listed on the label. Also common, or fraud involving HIV AIDS diagnostic tests and treatments for serious diseases such as arthritis, diabetes, and pandemic flu. Consumers should be on guard against health fraud and be aware of the many gimmicks and tricks fraudulent marketers use. This is a battery-operated acupuncture device. It's bogus. Officials suggest that you be suspicious of any product that claims to be a quick or easy solution for weight loss or for any chronic or serious disease claims to be a cure-all or a diagnostic tool for a wide variety of ailments, claims limited availability or money-back guarantee, relies on customer testimonials that are difficult to prove, uses words such as scientific breakthrough, ancient remedy, or miracle cure. This is a product that was claimed to shatter AIDS cells in people. This was something that was being promoted really before effective treatments for AIDS were discovered. The guy went to prison for selling this. Don't be fooled by professional looking websites. If a website does not include the company's name, physical address, 
phone number, or other contact information, it may not be reputable and you should avoid it. And be on guard against internet sites and other places selling fraudulent products claiming to treat, prevent, or cure the H1N1 flu virus. Consumers are urged to only buy products that are FDA approved and to obtain prescribed drugs only at licensed pharmacies located in the United States. If you have any questions about a product, contact your health professional. For more information on this and other health topics, go to fda.gov consumer. HCG stands for human chorionic gonadotrophin. It's a hormone produced by the body, and a lot of people think of it as the pregnancy hormone, and we measure it in the urine of pregnant women. Forms of HCG have been evaluated by the FDA and approved as an injectable prescription drug for things like female infertility and other medical conditions. HCG, or human chorionic gonadotrophin, has been approved by FDA for things like female infertility and other medical conditions, but it has not been approved by the Agency for Weight Loss. These HCG weight loss products, FDA hasn't received specific reports of harm about them, but we are very concerned because the products instruct users to take them with a 500 calorie per day diet. This kind of diet should only be done under medical supervision. The risks of such a diet can include things like dizziness, fainting, gallstones, or even heart arrhythmias. FDA, along with the Federal Trade Commission, has issued seven warning letters to firms marketing these products. We're telling them that they need to stop marketing these unapproved and illegal products. This consumer update is brought to you by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. FDA has issued a public health advisory warning consumers to stop using products marketed for bodybuilding that claim to contain steroids or steroid-like substances. Although some of these products are marketed as dietary supplements, they are not dietary supplements. They are actually unapproved drugs. They contain synthetic steroid or steroid-like active ingredients. Be aware that these products have not been reviewed or approved by the FDA and are potentially harmful to your health. These products can be found online and in retail stores and are promoted as hormone products or alternatives to anabolic steroids for increasing muscle mass and strength. Many of these products make claims about the ability of the active ingredients to enhance or diminish androgen, estrogen, or progestin-like effects in the body. These products may be associated with liver injury, kidney failure, blockage of an artery in the lung, and stroke. They may be associated with other serious health problems in adults and children, too. If you have been taking one of these products, FDA recommends that you stop immediately. You should also consult your healthcare professional if you're experiencing nausea, weakness or fatigue, fever, abdominal pain, chest pain, shortness of breath, yellowing of the skin or whites of the eyes, or brown discolored urine. FDA cautions that athletes taking these products may test positive for performance enhancing drugs. Consumers should report serious adverse events or problems associated with these products to FDA. They should go to the FDA webpage, fda.gov, and look for the link to MedWatch. For more information on this and other health topics, go to fda.gov consumer. You can really eat that? Thought you were diabetic. Yeah, but I just got these pills. They're supposed to work like insulin. Found them on the internet. Sounds too good to be true. I can eat whatever I want. Look, it says so right there on the bottle. Mm -hmm. That's not good. Ever get the feeling you've been had? How can you spot health fraud? Look for bold product claims, personal testimonials, and a host of promises. There are many other red flags and we'll tell you all you need to know. We're the FDA. Don't be a victim of health fraud scams. Be smart, be aware, be careful. For more information on how to spot health fraud scams, visit fda.gov slash health fraud.
According to Google data, the HCG diet is the most popular diet in the world searched over a million times. But today, the FDA and the FTC issued warning letters to a number of companies they say are selling illegal homeopathic HCG weight loss drugs. More on that in a minute. But first, we're taking action for your health with information on this controversial diet. HCG, or human chorionic gonadotropin, is a hormone found in pregnant women. It's all the rage because many people say it works fast. People getting HCG injections or taking drops are dropping about a pound a day. I have lost 32 pounds as of today in my eight-week period. Um, I have another 15 or 20 to go. The claim is that HCG mobilizes stored fat, so you're burning fat. The benefit of the HCG is that we're using the stored fat, the reserve stored fat from other areas, not just to burn to lose the weight, but additionally to provide a nutrition and therefore energy. The toughest part? You're on a strict diet of 500 calories a day. There are HCG success stories all over. Dr. Oz even did a three-part series on it. Now, it sounds too good to be true. But you're going to meet some people, including doctors, who've tried it and say it has changed their lives. Carolyn Stark is one of them. She loves her job, but it involves traveling and eating out, making it hard to eat healthy. And at just that sitting, I was eating 3,000 calories, and that was dinner. And that's a normal regimen of what everyone around me in the restaurant's eating. I started to think, you know what, no wonder I was continuing to, to gain weight. She had heard good things about the HCG diet. So she did a little research and made an appointment with Dr. Mendelssohn's office. 50 was always my, I got to lose it by 50. And then I didn't lose it. Her goal? To lose 50 pounds. Most of the people that we're seeing are people who are losing, I mean, well over 25. So you're looking at some people where they're really changing their lives. But wouldn't we all lose weight on 500 calories a day? 500 calories. Um, how am I going to do that? No sugar, no soda, no alcohol, and a diet full of fruits, veggies, and lean meats. Here's how it works. During phase one, which is three days, you load up on fats and carbs. Phase two, which is usually around a month, is a 500 calorie diet a day. Here's a typical day on phase two. Coffee or green tea for breakfast, an apple for a mid-morning snack, about 100 grams of chicken breast, vegetables and fruit for for lunch, another apple for a mid-afternoon snack, and dinner, about the same. 500 calories a day, that's it. But is the diet success in their heads? Some say yes. If you really look at this scientifically and you look at controlled scientific studies, HCG just comes down to be an expensive placebo. The placebo patients not given HCG in these studies uh, lost just as much weight and had just as much appetite suppression as patients who are given the HCG. So in the end, HCG comes down to an expensive placebo. Phase three is maintenance. Still, many women swear by it, but with the reward comes risk. If women take it, they can get cystic ovaries and you can have ovarian cyst rupture. That would be a potential downside to taking it. Uh, men can get enlarged breasts and sore breasts and water retention like you were pregnant. Doctors say other side effects include irritability, lightheadedness, leg cramps, and blood clots. Usually exercise is an important part of any diet, but with the HCG plan, exercising strenuously is actually prohibited. It works. People lose weight. The problem is they're not losing weight from the HCG. Many HCG products can be found online and in some retail stores. The FDA is warning consumers, though, to steer clear. If you'd like to see a list of the products the FDA says is illegal or watch a video on why the government thinks this HCG diet is unhealthy, go to my Facebook fan page. Look for Linda Hurtado, WFTS, under pages, and click like. Every day we're bombarded with weight loss promises. One pill can turn your body from this to this. Drop five pounds a week with liquid drops. Spray away your flabby ab muscles. When it comes to products touted as weight loss miracles, don't believe the hype. From dietary supplements to the latest diet schemes, weight loss fraud is in the air, on the airwaves, and online. FDA has found more than 100 weight loss dietary supplements that contain hidden drug ingredients. Some weight loss products labeled as supplements 
are concoctions filled with blood pressure medication, seizure medication, or drugs not approved in the U.S. Let's set the record straight. Dietary supplements for weight loss are not evaluated by FDA. Many make exaggerated claims, and some are even dangerous. For example, the ingredient subutramine, which was pulled from the prescription drug market for increased risk of heart attack and stroke, has been found in weight loss products. Yet another chemical compound tucked away in some over-the-counter weight loss cures is a suspected cancer-causing agent. Weight loss products can even interact with other medications a consumer may take. Risking cancer, heart attack, stroke, and dangerous side effects is not exactly the best way to drop a few pounds. Another popular fraud making the rounds is the HCG diet plan. This plan combines drops or injections of HCG, a pregnancy hormone, with a 500 calorie a day diet. Yep just 500 calories a day. But peep this fact. HCG has never been proven to be effective for weight loss. Not only does it not work, promoting HCG in any over-the-counter weight loss product is illegal. No fraud when you hear it and see it. Customer testimonial? More likely to have been written by the owner's nephew. Is the product claimed as a new discovery or scientific breakthrough? How many true healthcare breakthroughs are announced only after midnight on cable TV or only on the web? Before popping an unknown pill or using an unproven or little known treatment, talk to a healthcare professional. Don't take the word of an actor in a lab coat. Avoid the scams. Losing weight is not easy, but it can happen with a healthy diet, proper exercise, and by listening to your doctor. Yep, the old-fashioned ways. There's a new warning tonight against the HCG weight loss products. The Food and Drug Administration and the Federal Trade Commission are both cracking down. They issued seven warning letters to companies marketing the over-the-counter HCG products that are labeled as homeopathic. HCG is a hormone produced by the human placenta and found in the urine of a pregnant woman. It's approved as a prescription drug for women to treat some cases of infertility and other medical conditions, but it's not approved for weight loss. The letters warn the companies that they are making unsupported claims and violating the law. At this very minute, someone is falling for a health fraud scam. On TV, online, in print ads, in stores. It's happening all around us. But spend just a little time with me right now, and we'll show you how to see through health fraud scams. By being smart, being aware, and by being careful, you'll be able to identify and avoid health fraud scams. What exactly is health fraud? Just what it sounds like, a scam. A way to deceive people about health products that may not be all they're cracked up to be. They play on our desire for a quick cure, and then they bombard us with savvy marketing. And these companies target all of us. Promising help with weight loss, sexual performance, aches, pains, memory loss, and other age-related issues. Even people with more serious medical conditions like cancer, heart disease, HIV, Alzheimer's, and many more. They use TV infomercials, the internet, magazines, and direct mail. They even recruit people, perhaps even family and friends you know, to spread the word about their products through word-of-mouth marketing. They may claim after miraculous claim, miracle cures, wonder drugs. And for those who need hope, it's tempting to believe them. But think of the consequences of falling for these health scams. Sure, it could cost you lots of money. Wasted on worthless drugs, supplements, devices, test kits, and treatments. But it could also cost you your health. And by using unproven health products rather than the appropriate treatments, you might miss your window of opportunity to diagnose and treat a serious disease or condition. These products might make you even sicker. They could interfere with your medicines. They could even kill you. So what should you do? 
Well, the FDA wants you to know the red flags you need to be on the lookout for. Be aware of claims like quick fix, scientific breakthrough, cure all, or no risk money back guarantee. And if a product claims to cure a wide range of unrelated diseases, be suspicious. And many serious diseases don't even have a cure, despite what some companies claim. They'll also use personal testimonials and doctors played by actors claiming amazing results to scam you. You'll also want to be especially careful on the internet. This is one place where you'll find more and more products tainted with potentially harmful ingredients, including prescription drugs, steroids, and other chemicals not listed on the label. The bottom line is this. If it's an unproven or little known treatment, talk to your doctor or healthcare professional before you take anything for your health problem. You'll want to protect your personal information, including your Medicare ID number. Never give it out in exchange for a free offer. How many people do you think have been scammed just in the time that I've been talking to you? Too many. It's happening all around us, every minute of every day. So don't be a victim of health fraud scams. Be smart, be aware, and be careful. For more information on how to spot health fraud scams, visit fda.gov slash health fraud. At least 72 weight loss products have been found by the Food and Drug Administration to contain prescription drugs, including four drugs not approved by the FDA for sale in the United States. This is the third time in the past six months that the FDA has announced alerts about the illegal addition of active prescription drug ingredients to otherwise ineffective weight loss supplements. Because the added drugs are active in the body, they can be dangerous as well. For instance, Subutramin, brand name Meridia, an appetite suppressant available by prescription only in a controlled substance, and Fluoxetine, brand names Prozac and Serafem, an antidepressant available by prescription only as well, were among the drugs found in the supplements. The FDA has inspected a number of companies associated with the sale of these illegal products and is currently seeking voluntary recalls of the 72 products. Based on the FDA's inspections and the company's responses to recall requests, the FDA may take additional enforcement steps, such as issuing warning letters or initiating seizures, injunctions, or criminal charges. Dr. Sidney Wolf, who is president of consumer advocacy group Public Citizen, said, quote, the FDA's response has been inadequate. Some of the drugs found in these supplements are dangerous and are putting people at an unacceptable risk of injury. To protect citizens, the agency needs to go further and seize these products. Some of those uh, so-called miracle weight loss products millions of Americans see on TV and invest in to slim down may not be living up to all the hype. Now the federal government is stepping in and cracking down. Let's bring in Brian Todd. He's got the details. What do you know? Well, the Federal Trade Commission says four companies sold weight loss powders, creams, and other products that just don't work. And the FTC says those companies were shameless and deceptive in their ad campaigns. It's called Sensa. And it seems enticing for that New Year's resolution you might have made to lose weight. But as they say, if it sounds too good to be true... Without dieting. Simply sprinkle Sensa on. Eat all the foods you love. And watch the pounds come off. Sensa markets a powder to enhance the smell and taste of food, which the company says makes you feel full faster. 59 bucks for a month's supply. I may not have gone to a fancy Ivy League school, but I sure understand that that is good old-fashioned horse manure. Senator Claire McCaskill is launching an investigation into those ads, asking people to help by flagging potential scams. Sensa is one of four diet supplement makers the FTC has charged with deceptive advertising, saying there's no proof those products work. Other targets? HCG Diet Direct, distributors of hormone drops. Place them under your tongue, the company says, and you'll lose weight fast. Lean Spa, a company the FTC shut down for using fake websites to market colon cleansing and diet products. And the popular beauty product company L'Occitane for almond-scented skin creams, which the company claimed could trim more than an inch of fat in just a month. They're honing in on the fact that people want to lose weight and they don't want to have to work at it. The FTC is making these companies pay $34 million in settlements, the money refunded to customers.
Nutritionist Catherine Talmadge worries about who these companies are targeting. A teenage client recently asked me for advice about these drugs that her friends were taking. I was alarmed thinking that teenagers and even children were taking these potentially dangerous supplements. And with the weight loss industry exploding in America, Senator McCaskill warns going after those four companies is like playing the game whack-a-mole. There are many companies that are doing this. And with every one that is found, another one will pop up. The FTC says those companies are going to have to each conduct at least two legitimate clinical tests for their products to prove they work. Contacted by CNN, L'Occitan said it would make its testing even more rigorous to comply with the FTC. Sensa said its product is solid, but its ads will be changed. Lean Spa said its product was great. It was to blame. HCG Diet Direct, which marketed those hormone drops, didn't respond to our calls. Wolf. All right.